you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to all of you and also to our brothers and sisters who are joining us through this live stream. What are our ideas of God, of Jesus Christ? Who is Christ and God for us? Because many times, the kind of God we have, the idea of God we have, influences a lot of how we conduct ourselves or how we live our life. In today's reading, John sends his uh, disciples to Jesus to really confirm if he was the one who was sent by God. There seems to be, as we, uh, if we read between the lines of today's gospel, there seems to be a dilemma in. Uh, in John the Baptist in the in his expectations personal expectations and maybe of the people he was expressing the expectations of many during his time there he seemed he saw a gap between the ex, his expectations and the expectations probably of people his ideas about the Messiah and the very activities of Jesus that he was seeing. John expected, for example, a Messiah who would be a, a judge, an eschatological judge, they would say. One who would come to judge with a fiery spirit. But lo and behold, he was witnessing, seeing activities of Jesus dedicated to the weak, to the excluded, to the sinners, in a style of humility and of forgiveness, and not the judge. Thus, the question, are you the one who comes? Which, according to scholars, is a classical and traditional uh, way or expression to say, are you the Messiah? Jesus accomplishes in his response some prodigious works and actions to which those sent our witnesses and then reminds them of a series of prodigious works which demonstrate his identity as a messiah which are fulfillment the fulfillment of those prophecies and promises in the old testament especially in the prophetic tradition, which uh, in the first uh, reading is expressed by uh, the prophet Isaiah. Jesus brings salvation. This is his messianic identity his per in his person, and he is the fullness of God's salvific power, power and is manifested in him. This is the gospel, the good news, which is announced to the poor. That means the unfortunate, the excluded, the oppressed, and the hopeless. For all days, the coming of Jesus marks a new dawn of life and hope. Jesus foresees the risk of such 
scandal in the face of such attitude, yet he still proclaims happy those who know and are not scandalized about it. The faith, one author said, wrote, that the faith that is purified and has matured in the encounter with Him is indeed a gift of God, a blessing. Now the person who has dropped or left the trappings and the fake scaffoldings of his or her life can really set out on the adventure of the reign of God and receive as a poor person the good news. So to be a Christian therefore means to receive Christ Jesus every day in our life and from him pattern our conduct or his style of life and prolong in our life his practice of love of an disinterested love who is God for us who is Christ for us we should pattern our life, our thoughts of who Christ is and not our what we imagine about God and of Christ. This is the challenge for all of us that as we know Him, especially in the scriptures, the teachings of the church of who Christ is enable us to purify maybe our mistaken ideas of him like John the Baptist and only then we can encounter the authentic Christ let our celebrations let our the word of God illumine and our minds and check who is God for us are the images that we have of God and of and of Christ and may the Holy Spirit enlighten us to really know the Messiah the Christ who came to save us and specially save the needy and the poor. Amen.